In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. i got to tell you, these online Masses, although they can kind of help uh, take the edge off of not having a Mass you can go to, they can definitely do that. I mean, you're still basically in the Novus Ordo because they don't have ones that are diocesan, that are Latin Mass that you can really hear and understand, you know. Uh, so you're stuck in the Novus Ordo still in all of their heresies and, and things. And then a lot of these guys are corporate office priests that come from the corporate world. And you can really tell they're just like pedal of the metal with the faith. And it's just so exhausting. I think I feel like I need simplicity. I need just something, something simple, almost like in form of like a children's book faith. I can just relax in my faith, sort of. I don't mean relax in defending the faith, but... I mean, just like a baby in its mother's womb or in its arms, you know, just uh, have the faith as my shield instead of being just like, you know, power of faith or whatever. And that's all I think in a corporate office world where everything is about getting uh, com competitive and, and all this and all those sales pitches and stuff. But it just goes on and on and on. It's like, I just want to go to Mass. And I want things simple. I want to know God loves me and cares for me. I like receiving the sacraments. That's it, you know. <laughs> I want a lot of all the crazy stuff involved. That's what I think I like about the violin, too. It's simple. It's not electric. You don't plug it in. It's many centuries of old and uh, it just kind of works. The power goes out, you can still play. If you can't join the orchestra, it does its thing by itself and uh, it's really nice. So here we go. I just wanted to show you these different features of the, the LED lights on the on the stable in the manger Bethlehem scene. <laughs> he just kind of does different things. It can be kind of intense, you know. But if you want to do something a little different with the lighting, it, just, it has like seven different functions on it. did all sorts of different things. I'll just keep it there. John Larry says we need a Paschal candle, and we were looking in that autumn, A-U-T-O-M dot com or org or probably dot com, has them for like, you can get one for 50 bucks, although they're out of order, they're like on back order, but uh, just to get a stand alone is going to cost a lot of money, I don't know how this is going to work, you know, I don't know how, <laughs> what to say, you know, but once you're getting a Paschal candle for your home, Alter, you're in it for the long haul. That's how I feel. That means a priest's not coming one or, once or twice to say mass at your home. This is going to be a serious year-long, years-long thing, you know. either blazing bright outside or it's 
really dark. It almost seems like there's no in between, you know? You're either getting sunburned or you're not getting enough vitamin D. It's, there's just one extreme or the other. And, you know, scientists have said it's the ozone layer and this stuff. They say when the earth is renewed, some people believe that everywhere in the world is going to be 80 degrees. It's going to be very comfortable living because the atmosphere will come back to being, you know, protecting us. <laughs> with the record button off. Once the record button is off, it's like, wow, I can finally play. But for whatever reason, when that record button is on, it's like, tense, tension. <laughs> it's kind of funny how that is. I think it's just a human thing. <laughs>
thinking in those uh, Sister Greta prophecies, Our Lady's body went just back to how it was after she gave birth. It was just instantaneous. Remember, she didn't have a sin of Adam and Eve on her, so so she didn't have any pain of the childbearing and any pain of the, you know, the effects, you know. to me that if you do something too fancy on the violin or something she doesn't like it you just say oh sorry blessed mother like she's not like us she doesn't hold grudges or get all upset like a human would she's just like I mean she's totally forgiveness she's totally forgiving you know she's just all forgiving you know our, our mother is forgiveness you know she's all forgiving so make a mistake just say you're sorry you know she's not like a human where you have to just like you know she's not like a, a one of us where we you know grudges believe me it's horrible to see you know parents divorce each other have grudges against each other for for years and decades and everything so and our blessed mother she's nothing like that if you just ask for forgiveness it's good you know you have to get on your hands and knees and beg and tears and everything and say i'm sorry i mean that's how it should be too on earth you know of course you really have to be sorry though she knows the difference.
silly thought. I wonder if the Blessed Virgin, I wonder if she designs her own clothes or if she has, you know, the Heavenly Choir decide or our Lord or the Holy Trinity decide what she wears because she's always dressed so great. You know, I just have that random thought, you know, does she go in her chamber and dress herself like, who decides all this, you know? St. Joseph to decide what she's wearing, but he kind of was an artist too, you know. I mean, what, so what if he decides what she wears? Usually, isn't it the girl that decides what the guy wears? You see, if a guy's dressed up or dressed pretty good, you think, oh, his wife probably dressed him. I mean, that's kind of, I don't know. You just kind of think about that sometimes, you know. for everybody in the family so it seems like the woman really is kind of the one that decides what everybody wears i mean that's kind of just how it is but the woman's the one that you're usually making the clothes you know and stuff, just get everything really minuscule, you know? 
Like whatever you think you need more of, do less, like in terms of oversteering this thing, you know? Tired, but uh, that's why I always say, you know, a guy, guys, they, they have more endurance for this thing, they just do. Remember, the, the angels are all guys, I mean, they're all given the man's name, not all of them, and they're not really, they don't have a gender, the angels, but they're, they're awarded that man's name and I think it has to do with the strength, you know, the strength of that. And remember that strength can be used for good or evil. Because he even says some prophecies, more men are going to be sent to you know where than women in these end times. You know, but men really do have more responsibility in this world than the woman. And that's what they don't want you to know, you know. This really is their job on this world to take care of the women. And 99 times out of 100, they won't be doing that. They won't. From, from really pressing down the end. It's hard, you know, it's tempting to want to do that, especially at the very end, you know. 